Okay, greetings. It's Navla Pomo, day nine. And here we are, we're well underway in the Navla Pomo. I've been talking about uh, various aspects of motorcycle engineering and uh, motorcycle riding. Uh, yesterday I talked about ergonomics, so I thought today uh, a good follow-on from that would be a, a body positioning. A good place to start is to talk about how a motorcycle steers. Now, unlike a car, uh, when you turn a car's steering wheel to the left, that makes the wheels turn left, which makes the car uh, steer left. On a motorcycle though, it operates on the principle of counter steering. That is, if I want the bike to move left, I turn the handlebars to the right. I don't turn the handlebars to the left or turn the wheel to the, to the left. Um, I, the motorcycle will um, steer by leaning. And to get the motorcycle to fall into that lean, to fall into the turn, um, counter steering is used. Now, now these motions are actually quite subtle. They're, they're hardly discernible when you're riding. You don't physically yank the handlebars uh, to the right. There's a, 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 almost an unconscious move to, to turn them counter steering and the bike will, will lean into the turn. Okay, so how does the motorcycle lean over into a turn without falling over? Well, the, the properties of centrifugal force will keep the bike from falling over um, and continue through the arc of the turn. Now we've all seen centrifugal force in that action uh, in the tumble drive, for example, when it spins around and the clothes will cling to the outside, or at the fun fair maybe, um, where, the, where the, the swings will go round and round and they'll the fan out. Uh, so a motorcycle will, will use this when a motorcycle leans. There's obviously a, a finite amount that a motorcycle can lean, and that's determined by the by the profile of the tires. It can't lean off the edge of the profile; it would, it would fall over or lose traction and, and skid off. At a certain angle of lean, uh, at a certain, there's a certain uh, amount of speed that can be carried through. So a rider can affect um, the speed he may travel through the arc of the turn by shifting his body weight inside and down. And what this does is it moves the center of gravity uh, inside of the, the turn and, uh, and it lowers it, which effectively means the, that the motorcycle can travel at a faster rate of speed at the same lean angle uh, through that through that um, diameter of the arc. Now, like I said, motorcycle racers will do it to, to an extreme. They'll hang all the way off the bike, and they'll be down in the crouch, and the knee, their knee will be will be touching on the on the tarmac, and they'll use that as a guide to feel how far the bike is over, and they'll use it to push back up. If, uh, if the bike goes into an, uh, a slide, it's a somewhat a way of uh, uh, controlling the motorcycle. So on the street, it doesn't need to be quite as extreme, but even you know a small amount, like say say half a buttock to the inside of the turn when you're moving left or right, just a small amount, just a couple of inches, will actually improve the feel of, of the motorcycle as it goes through the turns. Um, it will give the rider uh, increased feel or uh, co uh, comfort and uh, confidence when you can feel, the, feel that, that bike went over. And um, it doesn't need to be much, but it does really help in, uh, in the rider when he's, when he's turning. Another way a rider might use body position is that he will hunch right up over the, over the front of the, of the bike, over the, over the tank, to keep the weight over the front of the bike to stop the bike wheeling under power. Again, this is more typical in racing situations. Um, also, he'll shift his weight back under heavy braking to keep weight off of the front wheel and um, keep weight on the back wheel so the back doesn't, doesn't come up. Okay, so that's been a brief look at counter steering and body positioning for, for motorcycle riding. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you uh, learned something. If you like what you see, of course, as always, at Lean Angles on Twitter. You can follow all my motorcycle ramblings or otherwise at Influx on Twitter. And of course, facebook.com slash Lean Angles too. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go and uh, hang it off. Hey! One part? Don't forget! Make sure the back wheel doesn't come up and make sure the front wheel... Make sure the front wheel doesn't come up from doing an endo and a wheelie!